Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and I'm back with another Divi tutorial. This week I'm going to show you how to add category or tag, um, basically taxonomy links to your current blog post. So whatever category you have your blog post in, that will show up as clickable links in the actual blog post. Maybe you want that at the top or the bottom of the post so that someone can click and, and view like that category. They want to read other posts in that category. You know, they just want to go explore that category, whatever. I'll show you how to do that with dynamic content in Divi and then give you a little CSS bonus snippets there to style those as buttons. So let's get started here. So the interesting thing is I will be using my own blog as an example here. So right here, um, you'll notice that the, at the top of any blog post, um, I have categories, colon, and then there's these like button things. And if I were to click this, it would go to the page that has all the posts related to the Divi blog category. So it's, it's the blog category page, right? This is a link. I have it styled with like these green buttons, but it's this page, right? Um, it's, it's a category. So pacreative.com slash category slash tutorial slash Divi blog. Okay. And then here's the blog post in that category. So how do you add these? And I had someone ask me about that and I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good idea for a tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. So it's really simple and we're using the built in features in Divi here. So what we can do is go to a theme builder template. This template that you're seeing here when you're viewing any blog post on my site is a template in the theme builder. And so this is dynamic. Um, you know, I'm not going in here and adding these buttons or something every time. It's just automatically populating based on what I select in the back end. So if I was to click edit post, you would see that, Oh, I have the little check boxes selected for Divi blog and for tutorials. Okay. And that's how they show up on the front end. So I'm going to go to a different website to show you this example. All right. So just any website's fine. I'm going to hop over here. The important thing is this is for blog posts. I have this template set to all posts. So whatever I do in here is going to apply to any blog posts on this site. So what I am going to do is just walk you quickly through it. It's very easy. Believe it or not, you would start with a text module. So that may sound odd. Why would you use a text module? But it's because we're using dynamic content. So go ahead and add that Add text. So now we have the module here. And the main thing we want to do is click on this gray dynamic content icon, use dynamic content. It says, so we're going to click that and then we get this pop up. So you can see all the standard things here, the post title, the excerpt, the published date, and here, is the two that we're looking for. I'm going to use um, categories for this, but you could use post tags also. So I'm going to click on post categories because think about it. I want my post categories to dynamically show in this module. Now this is interesting because here is where on my site, right here, I typed in categories. Okay. If you want to do that, you don't have to do that, but if you want to do that, this is what you would do. Go to click in the before categories, colon like that. This is already selected. At least for me, it was linked to category index pages. That means that I'll actually, instead of just showing them, like I could just have it that, Oh, I, you can just see that it says Divi blog and tutorials. Having that toggle enabled mean enabled means I can click them and they'll go to that category page that I showed you. So you would want that to be enabled. Here is a separator and you can kind of see it there. It's kind of ugly in my opinion. What I did to get rid of that is simply to click and hit the space bar and it removes that like vertical line. You may want that vertical line. So don't do that. <laughs> the last thing here says category type. And it should say taxonomy type, but that's okay. Um, it's on categories. I could select tags. I could select project categories. If I was on like the projects post type, if I was doing product pages, if I had WooCommerce installed and I was adding these tags to a WooCommerce product page, well then I would select the product categories. Okay. 
but I'm leaving it on just categories because that is the blog post categories. And that's it. I'm pretty much done there because now when I click save on this template and then I view a blog post. Okay, so that's how it looks. You can see I have cats, nature, and uncategorized. And again, this may be where you want those divider lines to be there. The reason I did not include them in this tutorial is because we are going to style these better. Now, you'll see that in the written post here, which is linked in the description if you're on YouTube, by the way. This is, in fact, this, this screenshot here is how it would look with the dividers. You can actually style this because remember, we're using the text module. So we'll open that back up. I'll show you. Design tab, text toggle. Click this second one here, that icon for the link. So any uh, links, you know, I could make green. See that? And I could maybe add an underline or, you know, maybe I want them to be ultra bold, whatever. Maybe I just want them to be a bigger font size. You can do that. You know, you can do that. And let's see, let's see if I can style that now that I'm thinking about it. Say I want that to be blue. Yeah, there you go. Um, because that's the text and that's the link. So that's the beauty of using the text module, text and link right there. I can style it and I could, you know, save these changes, refresh this page. So you can style it like that if you want. Now to get it to way to the way I have it on my site, right? With these like button, they look like buttons really. You're going to need CSS for that. So I have that at the bottom in number three here. Bonus, style these as buttons, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through that. So first of all, add a class. It's right here, PA post category links. You can see from this screenshot where we are adding it in that text module. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna reset this, reset module styles. Okay, the advanced tab here, CSS, ID, and classes, toggle, and then right there. PA post category links. Okay, I'm gonna save that. So we're just connecting, you know, this module now with our CSS. All right, so you won't see anything change yet. Go back here to the blog and copy this snippet right here. And you can see it. Um, we're just styling the links, we're putting the font weight as bold. We're saying here's the background color of green. Here's some padding. I want it to be rounded, so I made it 50 border radius. Here's the text color. Font size is 0.8 EM, because I wanted them a little smaller. And then a little transition. Then when you hover, I'm saying change the background to this dark green and the color to white. All right, so that is what we are doing. So watch this. I am going to use my Chrome extension just to show you. Paste, and there it is. It's that easy. Now, of course, for you, you won't be using a Chrome extension because it's not going to save it. Go put it in your theme options, in your Divi theme options in the back end. That's it. There you go. That's kind of a little bonus there on the end. That's how I have created the links on my site here. Um, in fact, that's the same code that I'm using. So you're using the dynamic content and then styling them as an optional bonus there. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you like this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up, follow me on YouTube here, subscribe, and on the blog, we do this every week. So, and I, by the way, I love hearing your suggestions for tutorials. This was actually, someone had asked me about this recently, and I was like, hey, that's a good idea. So I do hear you when you ask if it's reasonable and if it's something I think will benefit um, the broader community, so let me know. All right. We'll see you all in our next video.